Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So this is a question based on Hoffman bromamide degradation or it is also called as Hoffman reaction. Okay, it is a name reaction. So what basically happens in this name reaction that we have to see in general what happens is R CO NH2 that is amide reacts with reacts in presence of bromine and base. Okay. To form what? To form amine. Okay, there is loss of carbon. Uh, there is loss of one, this carbonyl group is lost, and we'll see the mechanism how this occurs. Okay, so this is a reactant that is given. C double bond O NH two. Okay, what I can write is NH two. I can write like this. Okay, the hydrogen attached to electronegative atom is acidic. So what can happen is the OH minus, okay, that is the strong base, potassium hydroxide, we know it is a base. It can abstract this proton, okay, we will get this, okay, what we will get? PH double bond, C double bond O, N, N will now have Okay, it already had one lone pair. Now it will have another lone pair, H. Now this negative charge will react with bromine. Okay, it will undergo bromination at the nitrogen. Okay, N bromine bond will be formed. Okay, this will attack here. One will be delta plus, another will be delta minus, okay, like this. So what we got is PH double bond, C double bond O. N H B R right nitrogen still has one lone pair now the next step is very important base is still present in the system so what will happen OH minus will abstract the another proton now what will happen this negative charge will shift on to the nitrogen atom okay and at the same time Br minus will be lost so what is exactly happening is the electrons of the NH bond is residing or present on the nitrogen so nitrogen gets the negative charge plus br minus is going okay it is taking away electrons so nitrogen gets what nitrogen gets a positive charge okay so positive negative can be neutralized and what we get is basically we get a nitrine okay this is what this is a nitrine that will be formed okay let me write again okay it was like this one h and one br so it will abstract this proton okay the electrons two electrons will come on to the nitrogen atom br minus is lost okay what we get is ph double bond okay, c double bond o n now what we have is a nitrine okay this is a intermediate called as nitrine okay now what will happen is a rearrangement will happen that is called as Wolf rearrangement. Okay, Wolf rearrangement will take place. Okay, I will erase this. Okay, what is Wolf rearrangement? We'll see now. Okay, so what basically happens in Wolf rearrangement is the R group, the R group migrates to nitrogen. Okay, R group that is attached on the other side of the carbonyl and this lone pair will come here. Okay, so what we get is PH, okay, C double bond, this double bond. Now this is attached to, this group is attached to nitrogen. Okay, then there is between nitrogen and carbon, you can see there was a single bond. Now it has become a double bond. Then carbon and double bond oxygen. Okay, so this is another intermediate. This is what this is called as RNCO. This is isocyanate. Okay, isocyanate intermediate is formed. NCO. Okay, so what is the next step? Next step is what we are doing is we are adding, okay, water will be present in the system. So what will happen? Water will attack. 
ओके दिस इज डेल्टा माइनस डेल्टा प्लस तो वाटर विल अटैक लाइक दिस ओके सो व्हाट वी गेट इज पीएच डबल बॉन्ड एन ओके now carbon oxygen double bond will become single bond here between nitrogen and carbon there is a double bond okay o minus then here we have water it has donated one lone pair so it will get a positive charge next step is this o minus will pick up this h plus ion okay what we get is oh okay here also it will be oh and here also there will be oh like this now what can happen is this nitrogen okay this is in all okay or you can say imin all okay imin and all so this can undergo tautomerism to form amide okay this will take up this h and oxygen will get its okay this oh bond will come here will get carbonyl okay so what we will get ph double bond okay n this has got one hydrogen Okay, then we have C double bond O, and then there is OH. Okay, now base is still present in the system, so it will take this H plus ion. There will be formation of a salt. Okay, O minus K plus. Now what will happen is there will be loss of CO two. Okay, there will be loss of CO two, and what we will get is. Okay, there will be loss of CO two. That is what that is called as decarboxylation. Decarboxylation. Okay, pH N NH and H. Okay, NH two. pH NH two. So now what will happen is this is enamine. Okay, enamine. Now, in a mean, we know it can show tautomerism. Okay, how will the tautomerism take place? This will pick up this hydrogen. Okay, double bond will pick up this hydrogen, and there will be formation of a imine. Okay, pH, CH two, CH two. Okay, double bond NH. This is what this is imine. Okay, and the last step is aqueous HCl, that is hydrolysis. So what will happen here? This bond will break. Nitrogen is more electronegative, so it will get hydrogen, and here there will be OH. Okay, so how it takes place? We'll see how the hydrolysis take place. Okay, one pi bond will be broken. This will get hydrogen, and here there will be OH. okay another this bond will break here there will be hydrogen okay ammonia molecule is lost and here we have oh okay this is lost ammonia now we have carbon with two hydroxyl on the same carbon okay oh now two oh groups on the same carbon is unstable so there will be loss of water molecule h plus will be lost from here and oh minus okay here there is one hydrogen that is present so what we will get final product is pH CH2 a C double bond O H this is the final product <coughs> so what is the correct answer option b okay now the question is do we have so much time to write all the uh, write the entire mechanism of the reaction the answer is no okay simply what you have to do is you must know that this is what this is a of many reaction so straight away you can draw the product okay what happens the carbonyl is lost okay carbonyl is missing in the product we get a amine okay double bond nh2 okay straight away you can draw this product and what we will do what we will do we will do tautomerism in amine you do tautomerism you will get imine right imine and then you do hydrolysis simple okay so you can easily solve this question in like one or two minutes a okay, ph here there is hydrogen this will break here there will be oxygen that will be added a okay, hydrogen 
carbonyl so in this way if you know the name reaction you do not need to know the mechanism but here i have shown you the mechanism so that you can understand how the rearrangement is taking place okay just by looking at the product we cannot say how the reaction is taking place okay so we have to draw the mechanism to understand how exactly the reaction takes place so this is the final product i hope you have understood the mechanism thank you